Hello, my name is Grant Kramer, and I'm a professor at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today, I will briefly speak to you about the winemaking process. If you're interested in this topic, I suggest you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nevada Viticulture and Wine, where I go into more depth and explanations of the process of viticulture and winemaking. So to start with, let me introduce you to a very brief explanation of winemaking. The first step in the winemaking process is to harvest your grapes. When to harvest your grapes is one of the most difficult decisions to make. And I suggest you view my video on when to harvest optimum grapes. You may harvest them yourself or you may have pickers picking them for you. However, obviously you have the most control when you harvest the grapes yourself. Two decisions to make. One is to either press the grapes immediately as in this top slide, or to send the grapes through a crusher to stemmer where you remove the grapes from the stems and crush the grapes with their skins and allow them to extract flavors and color from the skins. In the case of making white wine or making rosé, you may not want to do that and you would go with the upper process where you would press the grapes immediately or a day later, it varies with the winemaker. And then you would add yeast to start your fermentation. After crushing and stemming, the same thing would be occurring in that you would leave the berries on their skins. As you can see in this picture here, it forms a red cap that you have to press. I will not go into that, but you're going to add yeast at this point in time and start the fermentation. Fermentation is the conversion of sugar to alcohol. Once the fermentation is complete, you want to rack off the wine that's now made from the skins and the lees or the yeast that have died and have settled to the bottom of the tank. And you rack that off by some sort of siphon method there's a variety of different methods based upon the size of the tanks that you have and the equipment you have. And you might rack off and let it settle for a month and then rack off again a month later and rack off a month again later. Each time the wine will become clearer as the sediment settles out, the finer particles will settle at the bottom and you'll get a clearer wine. Eventually, you'll want to pump this wine out and put it into storage for aging. This may be in oak barrels, as in this case here, or it may be in stainless steel tanks or some other tank that does not impart any flavor components to the wine. After you have stored the wine, and it may be a year, it may be two years, you will decide to start the bottling process. In some cases, your wine will be clear enough and fine enough that you do not need to filter it. In other cases, you may need to do additional processing, such as fining and or filtration. Once the filtration fining process is done, you will want to bottle your wine. And there are, again, a number of different sorts of equipment. I've shown a very simple bottling machine here, bottling one bottle at a time. There are fully automated bottling machines that can bottle large sets of bottles. So that's it. Hope you join me for the next video on a more detailed video of winemaking.